welcome everybody to the next edition of NEO Student Updates. Uh, in our continuing series talking about the different departments on campus, today we have with us Ms. Joy Bauer, who is the department chair for the Business and Technology Department. Uh, the, the department, as we'll talk about in a few minutes, offers a, a lot of different opportunities for students, uh, even if they don't necessarily think they might be interested in business to start off with. Uh, so, uh, Joy, if you would just give us a brief overview of the Business and Technology Department and kind of what it offers. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Jordan, for um, the opportunity to share about our department. It's always exciting to, mm -hmm. uh, to promote what, uh, something that is close to my heart and something that we do very well here at NEO in the Business and Technology offerings. Um, I guess, first of all, what I would like to, to uh, stress is that our department is absolutely well positioned to serve um, a very diverse population of learners. Um, whether you are in a position where you are currently employed, want to come in and sharpen skills to maybe advance in your you know, current position, possibly retrain, learn some new skills to uh, seek a advancement or a new, you know, position. We uh, we offer those type programs that are uh, workforce ready, mm -hmm. uh, along with the transfer programs that are designed for uh, those students that want to go on and earn a bachelor's, master's, or doctorate degree. Mm -hmm. So, and then also we have some certificate programs too, where if you just have a very specific niche that you want to fulfill, we can we can accommodate that too. So that's what um, you know. I think that and our student population is very diverse. We we do have you know a, a variety of students therefore that come to us for very specific purposes. Mm -hmm. And so give us kind of an overview of the different programs that are offered in sure, the Business and Technology sure. Department. Um, okay, so we offer Business Administration, we offer Business Administration Technology, we offer Computer Science, we offer Sports Management, and um, you know, like I said, our Computer Science Program is a very popular Applied Science Program mm -hmm where we do, um, you know, teach them skills that are, that, you know, allow them to be work ready when they leave us in two years. Mm -hmm. So, and then our business administration technology is also an applied science where our business admin and sports management are transfer. Mm -hmm. um, sports management is, is a very popular degree plan right now. Um, you know, very interesting field of study there. So, um, yeah, we we just we have a lot of things to offer. And for some people who don't, uh, who may be unfamiliar with uh, different business programs, what's the difference between a business administration management program and a business administration technology program? Very good question. Um, the business administration program is designed to be a transfer program, so that means that you're going to also. Uh, get those 37 hours of general education requirements out of the way. The history, the government, the humanities, the compositions, and um, math, uh, uh, you know, and you're going you're gonna to get all of those out of the way uh, and uh, then transfer uh, to a four-year school. So. Um, that's where the business admin differs from the business administration technology, where you're just going to focus mainly on we're going to we're going to give you some general education uh, classes that you know like for instance composition. That's a very important class. Everyone needs to have a refresher or learn new skills when it comes to writing to be able to write well. Um, speech, you know, that's another one that's very important. You know, when you're entering the workforce, you want to be able to speak, you know, professionally and all. So we'll give you a touch of the general education side of things, but mainly in the work workforce in the two-year uh, business administration technology program, you're taking skill-based courses where you're going to perfect your skills in Excel. Um, you know, learning more about spreadsheets, you're going to, uh, per, you know, have professional development training. Uh, so it's more skill-based. Mm -hmm. And so for uh, somebody who's coming into college and they might not know exactly what they want 
to do with their with their career, with their future. Uh, why might business administration or programs in the business and technology department be a good fit? Well, you know, we have we have what we call a four semester plan, mm -hmm. and in that plan, Jordan, um, you can you can come into our department and go through the first semester, enroll, and kind of get a taste of what business administration, what, what our program, what our department offers um, without harming you in any way, shape, or form. So it doesn't harm you as far as advancement into you know transfer. Maybe you decide that, hey, business isn't for me, and I want to be a psychology major. You know, um, so that first semester is just a good, uh, solid semester's worth of courses to get your feet wet and um, get, you know, get some experience with higher education. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the things coming into a, a college program, a lot of people might have the misconception that the business program is only for extroverted people or people who, who like to be at the front of the crowd. Uh, why might that not be the case? Well, that's definitely not the case because, um, you know, I think back um, on my own experience here at NEO as um, coming from, you know, a first gener I was a first generation college student and chose to come to NEO as my first step in higher ed. And I was very uh, backward, very quiet. Very, I know you can't tell that now, <laughs> but uh, very much an introvert. So, um, you know, I think that our program is is definitely something that everyone can feel comfortable with. And I think a large part of that is our faculty mm -hmm. in our program. Our faculty at this point in time, I can say that we are all NEO alum. And um, we are knowledgeable in our respective subject areas. Um, we have faculty that came from oil and gas. We have faculty that came from banking. We have computer science faculty that have 30 years plus experience in the field. Um, you know, so I think that our faculty and their their passion for NEO, their passion for our students to make sure that they are successful is a huge part of how we can, um, no matter the, the personality of our learners, they're going to find a way to reach each and every one of them. Absolutely. So uh, whether, whether you uh, love to be uh, giving speeches or, or sharing new ideas with people or you prefer to be kind of behind the scenes, there could be a place for you in the business, pro business technology program Absolutely. at NEO. So I wanted to, uh, to switch over and talk for, for a second about, we've talked about some of the academic uh, part of the program and the department. Uh, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the extra opportunities that students might have. Uh, so tell us a little bit about uh, first PBL, Phi Beta Lambda, mm -hmm. uh, the business club, and then tell us a little bit about the Love's Cup competition team. Okay, so both of those are clubs and organizations that are um, part of our department, and uh, we pride ourselves on the successes that we've had with each of those um, in, in years past and currently. Um, but Phi Beta Lambda is a professional organization, nationally uh, known organization where students can um, excel in leadership. Um, they, they network with other business majors across the state. They do compete at the state level. They compete nationally if they do well at, uh, you know, at state. And I'm very pleased to say that we have several going to the national competition this year. And we also are very thrilled to know that we have the state Phi Beta Lambda president uh, here on our campus. Mm -hmm. So uh, very proud of that, right? Um, and then also the Loves Cup, that's kind of a selective, uh, it, you interview for Love's Cup. It's a competition, it's small business competition where uh, you actually from the ground up develop a business plan. Um, you present your business plan 
to uh, professionals. Uh, of course, this is sponsored by Loves, mm -hmm. um, the convenience store. And um, then they're, you know, they compete and, and we've done really well there as well, competing against not just two-year schools, but four-year schools across the state. So uh, very proud of our successes in both of those clubs and organizations. And definitely, again, Jordan, a place that no matter your personality, it's a good fit for you, mm -hmm. you know. And so uh, that's one of the things about uh, PBL is it offers an application to the stuff that you're learning in the classroom. Absolutely. Uh, there are, I think, uh, 40 or 50 different competition areas uh, that students can uh, do computer skills, job interview, things like that, and compete against other students throughout the state and the nation in order to develop your skills. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, with the Loves Cup team, like you said, it's a selective, uh, selective uh, uh, process. It's a class that you develop a business plan uh, closely with your faculty members. And uh, it also gives you the opportunity to win a cash prize if Absolutely. you do well at, at, that, at that competition. So um, it gives the opportunity to have that hands-on development taking the, what you're learning in the classroom and applying it in, in a kind of a fun and competitive way. Absolutely. So uh, let's, uh, let's kind of talk uh, about the facilities uh, that you have it, uh, within oh, the program. Um, yes. NEO has kind of been, uh, with our centennial year in the year uh, 1990, or, uh, uh, founded in 1919, our centennial in 2019-2020, uh, one of the projects for that was the refurbishment of Copen Hall, which houses the business and technology de department. So kind of tell us a little bit about uh, the upgrades that we've had on campus and the facilities that we offer. Wow. Well, we, we did have a remarkable transformation in the renovation of our um, Copen Hall, which houses um, all of our business uh, classes and all. Um, and I can best describe this, Jordan, by um, thinking of how the students that were, uh, you know, enrolled and, and came to class the year prior, uh, before the renovation, and then came back to finish, and such a wow factor. Um, just uh, new floors, new, you know, fresh paint, um, new, you know, desks, new furniture, such an, such an update, such a refreshing um, thing to walk into a, a hall that is um, just top of the line. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and part of that was the expansion of the computer lab. So yes. uh, where you now have, how many seats are in that computer lab? Um, put me on the spot. <laughs> uh, I want to say 32. Mm -hmm. So uh, we combined some classrooms. We did a little bit of, we did as much uh, tearing down of walls that they would <laughs> allow. Uh, we, so we did expand the, one of the computer labs. So it's now able to accommodate 32 students with uh, very nice projection uh, equipment and all um, the students love it, the instructors love it. Um, and along with that, we, we have a new uh, space for our PBL officers to meet, a little small conference area. Um, Love's Cup can meet there. Anybody can use it. We're, we're, not, we're not territorial. Um, and then also our student lounge. We renovated, you know, along with this, our student lounge, and, and it's become a very popular place for students to come. And, hang out and study and, and you know a nice just quiet uh, place to to be and with the world of business so dependent on uh, you know updated technology working um, either online or with with the, the kind of the newest equipment uh, one of the other improvements on campus was the installation of fiber optic cable throughout oh, yeah. campus so yeah. uh, for for business students of, of, of whatever program, we have up, updated technology. We, you're working on current technology. You're working in updated buildings. Uh, you're able to uh, meet in, in a comfortable environment. Um, so uh, I want to talk a little bit about, uh, it, kind of in that vein, the different uh, types of content delivery uh, uh, with 
um, the spring semester of 2020 kind oh. of going haywire, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, where uh, the entire campus of INEO had to switch uh, from uh, a traditional course delivery to entirely online. Uh, and the business faculty and uh, the business department had, had a major hand in ensuring that that transition was smooth. Uh, so kind of talk about the different types of course delivery that you and your faculty Absolutely. can offer. Well, we, we do pride ourselves on, um, I, I would say that we, you know, we are the leaders. Um, I think that most of our uh, all of our faculty are well trained as far as um, being able to deliver on online hybrid or face-to-face -face instruction because um, online is a little bit different it's a lot different you know you know that you teach right. online you know um, so we we are uh, very exciting news to share is that we are in the process of we've been approved and we are in the process of moving some of our programs to an online format. So there again, another opportunity to mm -hmm. serve those populations of students that may not be able to come to campus or possibly uh, the learning style, their learning style just is a better fit for an online class. So uh, we are moving that direction to be able to offer some programs in our business uh, department online and um, I think that one of the most popular deliveries though Jordan might be the hybrid delivery mm -hmm. where students are actually coming to campus or meeting with an instructor face to face maybe one time a week and then the remainder of the class is online so that's another consideration but um, you know, as I said multiple times, again, another way that business and technology and NEO is finding a way to meet students where, you know, meet their needs. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. And as far as the transition, the sudden, tra I can't tell you how many times I have written, due to the sudden transition of our classes <laughs> to remote instruction, blah, 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 you right. know. Uh, but it, it was it was a remarkable thing that we were able to uh, make that transition in such a short amount of time, um, you know. And faculty definitely were key uh, in making that a success for our student population. Um, our faculty jumped not just business and technology, but time after time. Um, we, Jennifer and I are um, instructional designer, systems analysis, wh whatever she is, the wonderful Jennifer. <laughs> um, you know, we've commented time after time how well our faculty uh, made that transition. It wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. It wasn't easy for anyone. It wasn't easy for the faculty. It wasn't an easy decision for our administration. And it definitely wasn't easy for, um, you know, students. Um, you, you do have some barriers when you, when you make a, a transition like that. Not all of our students have internet at home. Um, not all of our faculty have internet at home. So, uh, reliable internet, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, we definitely all uh, sacrificed. We, we worked hard. We pushed through it. And um, there were some good things that came out of it. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, one thing, kind of bringing it back to business and technology students, one thing that being in this program uh, kind of teaches your students is how to adapt, how to be Absolutely. nimble, especially as technology kind of changes. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and one of the things that you mentioned that I want to highlight is hybrid course delivery because people generally understand a traditional face-to-face -face course and they understand an online course. But they, uh, if they're in an online course, they might crave that face-to-face, -face, actual personal asking questions of their instructor and the hybrid course uh, delivery Perfect. really, really provides that. Perfect. Uh, and, and kind of talking about online courses now, uh, you said that we, we have been approved to begin moving some of those programs online. And, and one, of the, one of the things that we really try to do as an institution, but also as a department, is uh, you're trying to uh, create pathways that students who get their degree at NEO can then transition on. Most recently, we signed an agreement with Northeastern State University. Uh, so kind of tell us a little bit about that, that partnership and what that offers to students. 
We are so excited to be able to partner with NSU. Just down the road, Tahlequah, Broken Arrow, and many other campus sites. Um, but yes, our students now have the opportunity to uh, finish their four-year degree and still be on NEO's campus. So we're offering, uh, and I should rephrase that, they can finish the business core. The four, mm -hmm. There's 42 hours of the business core on the NSU program of study uh, for um, business admin and all, a plethora of other degrees. I want to say there's like 26 degrees that they offer. Uh, something crazy like that. But um, they can finish. Our students have the opportunity now to participate in classes through NSU, again back to technology, uh, by Zoom. So the students will uh, come to our campus tap into a Zoom meeting with the NSU faculty, uh, wherever they might be, and uh, participate in uh, NSU classes. So they, they, we're gonna offer about five classes per semester. So we'll put them on a, a sweet rotation so that there's something for each student every semester. Mm -hmm. And, and one thing that's important to note about that uh, specific uh, course of study is that through our partnership with NSU, we uh, allow students to complete through their four-year degree, but NSU also offers a master's degree program that's entirely online. And it so is embedded in that, in that uh, bachelor's program. Part of those hours are actually, you can actually take part of those hours while you're still in your bachelor's program. And that opens the door so that students in the Miami area or in the Northeast Oklahoma area who, who are uh, location bound for one reason or another, maybe they have family, maybe they have uh, a specific handicap, maybe they have needs that keep them in the area, can get through a master's degree from, from our area, which yeah. is incredibly important. It opens so many doors for students. Yeah. Um, uh, one thing I want to kind of transition back to, we talked about the business administration program, we talked about the business administration technology program. Uh, one thing I want to highlight now is the sports management program, sports mm -hmm. marketing program, because you talked about uh, how that's uh, a growing opportunity and one thing that we've been talking about is uh, for many of our student athletes or, or uh, students who are interested in sports generally uh, might not know the different options that that might appeal to them right. in, in their specific uh, areas of interest so right. kind of talk about that program okay so the sports management program is a, is like I said it's a very popular program and uh, we offer a few classes to uh, kind of get them I would say a survey of that uh, uh, that career path mm -hmm. um, so they're going to study sports communication that's always a fun class, you know. Um, and then they're going to study um, a couple other classes that uh, relate and kind of get them exposure to that field of study. One thing that um, our sports management faculty, Mr. Becker, uh, one thing that he does is that they, they, in one of their classes, they take a field trip. And they uh, they have toured uh, the is it the Oilers mm -hmm. the Drillers what something like that Oilers maybe uh, I don't know but anyway <laughs> they they take a field trip and uh, they actually get to meet with the individuals that perform these jobs related to sports management sports communication and all so it really gets the students a first-hand experience as to what you know what some of the career opportunities might be in that mm -hmm. in that area great and so is there anything else that's uh, unique or interesting about the uh, business administration and, or the business and technology department that you really want to make sure that students who might be on the fence know I absolutely want to want to uh, showcase our partnerships, not just with NSU Jordan, but our community partners. Um, business administration technology typically has um, an internship component where our students are able to go out and, and have practical experience in their field of interest. And so um, that internship program is really uh, something that is critical. And we, we do have many community partners that 
um, open their doors for us to uh, come in and bring students and, um, and have that internship experience. Um, this past year, we just partnered with CAMO, um, uh, CAMO Power in Venita. And um, they are just, I'm very excited. They're going to be wonderful partners for us to um, take on our computer science students, to take on accounting students. Um, and, you know, they offer just some wonderful opportunities. Absolutely. And other community partners, um, I will uh, say that, you know, we, we have a, um, an advisory committee that meets once a year and we have community partners that come and share their ideas so that's kind of how we get our ideas for needed upgrades or things that we might need to um, you know redesign a little bit or tweak in our curriculum so uh, we in the business and uh, technology department we try to keep ourselves abreast of what's going on out in the mm -hmm. real world and um, those community partners are often, they are very willing to come in through PBL uh, and be guest speakers and share those experiences, share what it's like to be in the real world. And um, I think that's definitely something that, that we do very well in the business and technology department. Outstanding. Well, so if you're, if you're uh, interested in more information about the uh, business and technology department where can they find that information and how can they contact you uh, we have an neo business um, email mm -hmm. or they can personally they can contact me personally as well just joyb at neo.edu outstanding well if you if you don't know exactly what you want to do or you know that you've uh, wanted to do business for your entire life then uh, the business and technology program and, the, and department might be the perfect for, for you uh, thank you joy for sitting thank down you. with us today and thank you for tuning in we'll see you on the next neo student update bye